Hello my friends and welcome to yet another edition of the almost annual cooking show. Boy oh boy, or should I say girl oh girl, it's 2020 after all, have we got an episode for you today. There's been a turning point in food production because a company bought out an item of food that has revolutionised, revolutionised, not revolutionised, revolutionised the way people eat today. The item in question is, of course, the Greg's, and that's the meat ones, the Greg's vegan sausage roll. I have to take care because apparently the fillings may still be very hot and you can get injuries. I bought two. So this is what I'm trying to recreate today. And next to it, I've got the meat sausage roll. Instant observation is that you don't really need to cook the vegan sausage roll. I'm going to taste what's in them hot and cold, just in case my palate, which as you know is very sophisticated, might pick up some um, the nuances. Because Greg sausage rolls are all about the nuances. I don't know how you cut this open. Oh. Remember, always wash your hands. During that time, you should have been wash it, washing your hands at home, ideally, even if you're just watching the video. I'm going to cut it along here. This is called the ridge. A pensioner's arm, I'd say, is the closest I'd get to that. Mottled, some brown bits in it. Well, let's compare it to the meat one. Basically, a pensioner, English pensioner, and this is the expat in Spain pensioner. Right then, okay. We should try the vegan one first to compare them. I can't really taste anything. I can just taste heat. I'll try the cold one and see what that's like. It sort of tastes a bit like school ham. You know, the ham, or spam even. It just looks like the stuff they used to make rubbers out of school. I wonder if you can use it to rub out stuff. I guess the ingredients. Pastry, vegetables, flour, salt, herbs, and some sort of uh, glue, but not glue, not obviously not glue, although it is addictive. Something as addictive as glue, but edible for vegan. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Back from the shops. What's the first thing you do? That's right, wash your hands. Empty the bag without touching the items. Ignore that, just take it out normally. I was trying to be a bit flash. If the oven's on, you're seldom wrong. Yes! Uh, you understand my celebration if you could see that turning the oven on is actually shows some progress in my cooking ability over the course of this series. Keep the sausage rolls with an eye shot just to give the new items an idea of what they need to be. Half of it is just about the food being mentally prepared as well as being physically prepared. Just to give you an idea of what I'm trying to achieve now. People have wanted to be vegan for about a thousand years and only last year they developed the vegan sausage roll. So. I'm going to do what's taken a thousand years in about 20 minutes. I'm assuming this is already clean. If it's not, clean it. This is 100% virgin coconut oil. Oh, that is solid. I'm going to melt this, some of this down on the hob until it resembles a bit of like butter and use that with the flour and Oh, uh, I've just realised I've used the knife I've, I, I used to cut over the meat sausage roll with in the vegan coconut thing. But luckily, if you touch meat with an item, if you leave it for an hour or so, the meat normally dissipates into the air. Let's just say that happened. Let's just take a fresh knife and then pretend that we open this again. I better open this again. 
Uh, and then a nice fresh knife. I'm not sure this is the right thing to do. You can use the sausage roll as a measuring stick just to remind yourself how it's pretty similar. And just gently introduce them to each other and just introduce that to the, the mix. Very similar colour, encouraging. Just put in a sausage roll's worth of salt. How do you know what that is? Say sausage roll and that's when you stop. Sausage roll. I think I know what hope feels like. And it feels like this is working. That's a lot of black pepper. Yes, my friends. Look at that. That very much looks like the start of vegan pastry. It's sticking. Now I'm going to move on to the sausage bit. I'm going to leave this just here to settle. Anything meat touches automatically de-vegans any food. So you don't want your sausage roll de-veganized. So immediately clean off any um, evidence of meat. Tofu. It smells absolutely disgusting. Look at that, it's got some sort of residue on it as well. Rank. Gross. If you can't find any tofu, why not just punch a hole in your own wall and rip some insulation out? Celery. Carrots. You can peel it, but I'm going to choose not to. Two mushrooms. The general feeling of shame you should be feeling around now, which is completely normal. So we've got some mold peril here. There's your blender. I'm just going to put all the items in. Blend those together. Sausage roll. Got some herbs here. If you're unsure of what herbs to use, just use the mixed herbs. A few herbs. Blend. Blend. Turn the turn. <laughs> It's always good to check it safe before turning the plug on. <sighs> if in doubt what button to use, always go for the most circular button. And that was blending up lovely. Let's see what the other button does. alternate between the buttons. <laughs> that is pretty damn close to the vegan sausage roll. What I'm going to do to make it stick is put this, a bit of the coconut bonding oil in. I'm using half a scrape's worth of that. Just let ease in with your finger. Imagine if I actually made a better vegan sausage roll than Greg's. I could feel genuine excitement. You may not think I've been counting during the blending, but I've actually been saying sausage roll 50 times. And when you said sausage roll for the 50th time, that's when it's time to stop blending. Obviously, say it in your head rather than out loud, otherwise people will I think you might be a bit peculiar. I've just realised the downside of saying sausage roll over again is that it's very hard to count while saying sausage roll. So rather than saying sausage roll, just count slowly like one sausage roll, two, count the sausage rolls. Sometimes when you're dealing with texture, it's best just to close your eyes and touch the item rather than look at it so you don't get distracted. I've just realized what I've forgotten. Onions. Just cook it until it is uh, uh, transparent. If you have coconut oil in everything, it must be 
just are permanently eating a bounty for vegans. Nice one. You might say at this point here, oh yeah, Mark, you're a bit stupid to forget the onions. No, I did it on purpose. I left the onion out so it felt like it had a point to prove. So we'd try harder to improve the flavour of the meal. Don't worry about cleaning off the top that much because it just adds to the to the texture of the roll. I mean, that feels right. Get your rolling pin and just roll this out. F Ignore the rolling pin. If it gets too sticky, it means you need more flour. Just coat the flour. Don't be afraid of the flour. In case you have been rolling any meat with your rolling pin you know that you definitely have cleaned it off now There's no meat residue on there all right let's pretend that last bit never happened please just roll it out yes sorry that's a bit loud yes yes wash your hands i've washed my hands quite a lot during this you might think to yourself that's quite expensive but what's worth more Hands or soap? That's the sort of question you've got to ask yourself. Not hands or soap, lives or soap. Hands or hands or soap. And we just position that in the centre of the sausage roll area. We turn the sausage over like this. Carving M's on mine. Very unique. Let's go for two. Why not? Let's have a party. I love the texture that the black peppers add in. I love the, it's just very good. Let's go for a jumbo one. Let's do it. I always fold from right to left. That's just part of what we do in my restaurant. Of course, in the future, I'll get a machine to do this for me when we go into mass production. There we go, the normal size and the jumbo size. Let's put them in for a period of time on Gas Mark 5. Good luck. They say the best things come to those who wait. And I've waited six episodes to get something that nearly feels like food. So there'll be some sort of passage of time thing now. Approaching 40 minutes, surely that's long enough for a sausage roll. Let's have a look at these bad boys. Yes! There might be a problem already. Sort of a bit, I don't want to say concrete, but um, I'd say it's in the same family as concrete. Uh, they're definitely cooked, but somehow it's, it, it's just the same as before, but hotter. Aesthetically, it looks like a sausage roll. So even if you weren't going to use this as a vegan sausage roll, you could sell these as film props. So rather than ser serving a sausage roll, I've created a substance that never gets cold. I mean, Greg's put a warning on there about take care to avoid injury, which I laughed at at the start of this video, and now I've injured myself. It's sort of a bit like an onion paste, like baby food. And then it's sort of crunchy cardboard. If it was the end of the world, I wouldn't be averse to eating this in those circumstances. Something to make it fluffier and less uh, like plaster and then something to make this more solid rather than just hot sludge. Not the greatest failure, although people would not pay for that if they were in their right minds. So although this has been a failure in terms of cooking. 
in terms of hygiene and hand washing, it's been an incredible success. Although I haven't learned how to make a vegan sausage roll, I have found a way of making an alternative heat sauce. I mean, that's still oven hot. Ages after it's come out. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again in a year's time. Happy cooking. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can subscribe here or watch another cooking video somewhere around here or watch one of my friend Paul's videos who edits and films this for me here. Happy cooking and take care.